Welcome back to the Cronkite Sports Report. I'm Ethan Ryder. A casual sports fan knows football club Barcelona is one of Europe's premier soccer teams. What they might not know is that club has a residency academy here in Arizona. And as Kyle Betts tells us, it produces some of the best young talent in the country. Luca Sawinski is an 18-year-old California native committed to the University of Denver to play soccer this fall. Despite being a high school senior, he already lives hundreds of miles away from home. He ended up at Grand Sports World, more specifically, the FC Barcelona Residency Academy. The academy, which is originally known as La Masia in Barcelona, Spain, has a second location here, where players like Sawinski can receive a high school education at the ASU Prep Academy before lacing their boots. The professional facilities, everything, I just, I knew I wanted to be here. It was, it was really something special. It's a dream for a youth soccer player, really. Youth players come to Casa Grande knowing the program, which was founded in 2017, will prepare them for the next level. For players like Lucas Witzke, their days are filled with practices, but they need all the pitch time they can get, as all Barca Residency Academy graduates either go on to play collegiately or professionally. Sawinski is treating this opportunity as a sort of mini college experience before he goes on to play in the NCAA. It's certainly a challenge, but you know, all of us, I mean, it takes someone you know, pretty special to want to come out here, kind of an isolated era, area in Arizona. And I mean, I think that's what makes this place so great because everyone here, you know, has the same goal. Jed Quinn, who is one of 135 staff members on the property, has been a part of the program for five years. He's been able to see player development firsthand as some join the residency in their early teens to learn Barcelona methodology and style of play. If we can have those guys progress through together, what we've seen in the last few years is that by the time they get to U19, you know, it's clicking and we really then start to see the style come through. Living in a rural area away from friends and family might be difficult, especially for a youth soccer player. But the Barca Residency Academy has created new opportunities and relationships. There's kids from everywhere in the country, even outside the country. I think my favorite part has just been meeting them, getting to know them, learning everything about them. And, you know, I've been able to make friends and, you know, I'll be friends with them for the rest of my life, hopefully. In Casa Grande, Kyle Betts, Cronkite News. Julian Araujo, Matthew Hoppe, and Caden Clark are just a few of many current professionals that have graduated from the academy. In their 17 league games this season, the Phoenix Rising have been in a lot of close ones. 10 of their 17 games have been decided by one goal or less. In those games, they've lost six, drawn one, and won three. According to head coach Rick Schantz, the ability to grind out results in tight games is more about luck than anything else. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, fortune doesn't fall on you, and, but I've told them all that, uh, you, you know, shooters have to keep shooting and you have to keep staying aggressive. You have to stay confident. You have to keep doing what we're doing, and the tides will turn. The Rising will fly out tonight to begin a two-game road trip as they face off against second-place Memphis 901 on Saturday. The XFL is hoping third time's a charm as they prepare to take the field once again in 2023. The XFL, which is purchased by Dwayne Johnson and Redbird Capital in August of 2020, is holding a showcase at Sun Devil Stadium on July 22nd. Tempe is one of six cities that the XFL is holding showcases in. They provide an opportunity for players to work out in front of coaches in hopes of being invited to the XFL draft. The XFL is banking on the popularity of football and their success in 2020 before shutting down due to COVID. It's really all about the quality of the game. And, and do you have you know, the type of players that, that play exciting football? Because that's what, what fans like. And it, it's also because I think people just love watching football. It's, it's really become our national pastime. ASU is inducting its first Hall of Fame class in three years. ASU will induct nine members into its Hall of Fame this year. The list includes recently retired women's basketball coach Charlie Turner Thorne and Valley natives Terrell Suggs and Anthony Robles. Turner Thorne was the women's basketball coach from 1996 to 2022, making the NCAA tournament 15 times and getting to the Elite Eight twice. Suggs set an NCAA record with 24 sacks in 2002, and Robles was a three-time Pac-10 champion and a national champion. The inductees will be honored on October 8th when Sun Devil football takes on the University of Washington. Devin Booker officially signed a Supermax deal with the Suns yesterday. Booker's new deal extends his contract with the Suns for four more years and is worth $224 million. It's the new richest contract in Suns franchise history 
breaking the record set by Booker's previous extension. This deal kicks in after the 2024 season, meaning Booker is now under contract until 2028. Booker said, quote, the love from this city has been there from the beginning. I'm honored and humbled to call this place home. That's it for the Cronkite Sports Report. Back to you, Lauren.